name is Maureen Finnerty, and I've been a member of the coalition since 2005 or six, somewhere in there, shortly after I retired. So that's 16, 17 years. And I was on the board of the coalition, executive council for 12 years, and I was the chair of the coalition for six years. That followed a 30 year career with the National Park Service. I uh, got a job working in the legislative branch. I worked on a Senate staff and then I worked in the, uh, the old Senate Interior Committee, which is now I think the Senate Energy and Resource Committee. And on that committee, I started working on park and public land legislation. So I got very interested in parks. And from that position, I was able to transfer into the Park Service in Washington. And so that's how I got started. But I come from a family of medical people and I come from uh, a family that's been doing public service in a lot of ways. So sort of in my in my bloodstream. So I was interested in government service and the Park Service just aligned very nicely with some of the things I was interested in doing. Shortly after I retired 2005, you know, he came up and said, <clears throat> you know, you really need to join the coalition. And, you know, uh, he recruited me to come on the board. And I thought the value of the coalition was significant. You know, having the voices of former Park Service people organized and play a role. It enabled me to continue in many ways my public service and I agreed with their overall goals and missions and some of the things they were working on. So it was sort of a natural fit for me. You know, I stayed on the board for 12 years. So, you know, uh, hopefully making some contributions. I've worked at two of them, Everglades and Olympic. You know, I, I like them, love them both, really, uh, and what they bring. And I have visited, you know, over 100 or more parks. So, you know, I, I'd be reluctant to name a favorite. Uh, the ones I worked in, of course, I was pretty partial to, but, you know, they all contribute in a significant way to who we are as a people and to our country. I think to continue to contribute you know, when you have 30 plus years of experience, which I had and many coalition members have more than that. And the blood runs green and we loved what we did for many years. We're very devoted to the system and the service. And it just seemed like an opportunity to continue to give in that way. So I like the fact that we were continuing to contribute, to stand up and support parks. We could also, as former employees, we could say and do things that current employees couldn't do. So it enabled us to be a voice both for parks and the park service. I'm currently very involved in the Park Institute of America in affiliation with Duke University. So we have a strong link there to their uh, Nicholas School of the Environment. And we are independent from Duke, but affiliated with them. And so we're starting to see things move and change and raise money and that kind of thing. But it's been a long time coming, but I think the potential there is enormous. And, you know, we can tap into the expertise of coalition members to help us with training and mentoring and teaching and that kind of thing. You know, again, we're, we're independent from the coalition as we're independent from Duke, but we're all, we're all affiliated. So that's, a, I think, a powerful coalition that, again, can hopefully spread the word and do more good for parks. It's very important that we get involved in, in building the next generation of conservation leaders. Um, and we're hoping to do some of that at, through the, uh, the Park Institute. And, you know, who is the next generation that are gonna carry on and care for these special places? And so building that base of support and, and the coalition membership can play a big role in helping to do that because we have so much expertise. And these young people, you know, a lot of them wanna save the world and the world needs to be saved. So I'm, whatever role we can play in helping to move them along and educate them and, and get build up broad-based support for parks, I think is very important.